Hey, Julie and Jen. Hello. Julie, it's so nice to see your face in real life. <laughs> I've been loving your posts and your food. Oh, thank you. You're crushing the girl. I'm super proud of you. Thanks. I'm pretty proud of myself. So yeah. You should be. That's awesome. Gonna give another minute. Um, Natika, how are you doing today? Hello, I'm good. Well, we were gonna talk about um like packing lunches for kiddos and for us um, for like work and school and packing food and stuff. But um, since Tika might be the only one who like packs lunches for her kids. <laughs> so an alternative <laughs> could be. Um, Cause I don't even we, do that. Oh, okay. Well, if you guys would rather talk about um like putting plates together while you're out of the house or when you're on the go um, or if you go to a restaurant or something like that, we can talk about that instead and then save the lunch call for another day. I would like to, um, you could possibly add maybe some good, easy to go snacks that could go in lunches, but they could also be what you would take if you were on the go. Okay. That would yeah, be happy. We can do the lunch thing and then talk about, we'll talk about eating out and stuff next week, but um, what were you going to say? Because what? I would love to introduce some better snacks to put in their lunches this school year. Mm -hmm. I'm not making it though. It needs to be something they can make for themselves. <laughs> yeah. Emmett helped right. me do his. The go, the go to is a bag of chips those Lance crackers, things like that, and better options out. I can't stop yawning today, guys. I'm really sorry. I think my chest muscles are really tight. They used to happen to me all the time. When I, does it happen to anybody else when you're like working out really hard and then you yawn and then you say yawn and then somebody else yawns? <laughs> um, but that used to happen to me all the time and I would like yawn in the middle of workouts and my trainer would get really mad. I'm like, I can't help it. I can't breathe. But yeah, it's been happening to me all day. Like I, I, I'm like, it's not you. <sighs> uh, but anyway. Yeah. I've been yawning all day though today too. I was in there having a meeting with my boss. I yawned like five times. She's like, are you okay? I'm like, I don't know why I'm yawning. <laughs> I got enough I sleep. I think. <laughs> yeah. I, I, uh, I did not get enough sleep, but, but I usually am not this yawny. I feel like I just can't get a good deep breath. Um, but anyway, okay. So yeah, let's talk about lunches and let's talk about like snacks to pack. Um, so I'd love to hear if you guys have any ideas, but my go-to things are always like a veggie and a dip or something. And I was actually just talking to somebody about the carrot chips. Have you guys seen like the, they're just carrots, but they're sliced in like chip form and um like they're ridged and they're really good for like eating dip with eating hummus with um I'm recently on this like tzatziki dip kick which is greek yogurt and um dill and cucumber and onion and lemon um super yummy um but I think like having tika for you Emmett used to help me pack his, we would like get the big bags and then he would bag up his individual, um, servings of them. And we would have like an assembly line in the kitchen. It would take 10 minutes. And then he had carrot bags for the whole, you know, week. And then another thing that we used to do, and this isn't like, this is more fit me plate inspired. Um, but I mean, like, as far as like, you've got a carb, you've got a uh, protein you've got a veggie um but it's not the healthiest or whatever but whenever he was packing lunches for school this year and last year thank the lord the school system is actually like paying for the kids to have lunch and breakfast and so yeah so I'm like 
go for it. You eat whatever, like, you go and eat whatever. However, we have started fixing breakfast at school or at home only because he wants to um, play. There's like a recess in the morning while kids eat breakfast. And so he doesn't want to eat breakfast at school. He wants to play and do recess. And I think that's better for like his, his overall, like, you know, health and, and mental health when he's sitting down at a desk. So I'm like, okay, I'll make you eggs in the morning, whatever. Um, but I mean, before that he was eating like a little, little cup of cereal and chocolate milk. And that was all he ate like for breakfast in the morning. So it wasn't sustaining him till lunchtime anyway. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, he helped me bag his, um, carrots. I also did like a, like a lunchable kind of, like I would, he would count out eight Ritz crackers and put those in a bag. And then he would get a little stack of pepperoni, the turkey pepperoni, the low sodium kind. And then he would get, um, two pieces of sharp cheddar cheese and then we would fold them in half and in half again so they were like little squares and so he would put like a pepperoni a ritz cracker and a little cheese square and that was his lunch and he loved that and he ate that for the longest time and then he would have his carrots with it and then that was enough because they only get like 20 minutes to eat and he's a slow eater i don't know if you guys have slow eating kids but there he's the slowest eater of all time um but all that to say that even though that wouldn't be like a fit me plate, it's still a relatively healthy snack with a lot of the elements of what we are looking for. And it would be a great like on the go snack too, even though that was like his lunch, that would be a good snack. Um, but carrots and celery and like dip. Um, I also have like a really healthy um, ranch dip that I make that's like Greek yogurt and a little bit of milk. And it's like two, two, well, if you make a really big batch, it's one cup of Greek yogurt, a half a cup of milk and one packet of like ranch mix, or you could like pour a bunch of the flavor God ranch, um, into that and then mix that up. That's a great ranch dip. Um, and it has the same consistency as ranch and it's got some protein. Cause if you get the like fat-free yogurt, it's got a lot of protein without a lot of added fat. So that's nice. Um, and then uh, I'm trying to think of what else. I love fruit on the go, like bananas and apples and um, oranges that don't have to be refrigerated. But I like the cuties because they're easier to peel in the car. Um, and then what else do I used to pack? Bags of grapes. I will wash like a buttload of grapes and just have like a big gallon sized bag of grapes if I don't divide them up ahead of time that would be a really good thing to do for your get your kiddos to help you do um Tika the um bags like they could bag their carrots they could bag their grapes they could bag you know orange well I don't have to bag oranges you just keep those on the counter and grab a couple um but fruits and veggies are almost always my go-to but I also like um rolled up lunch meat so like uncured ham um, the low sodium, like nitrate free, uh, turkey, um, and you could do a little cheese in there rolled up in them. Um, and then have that with a little bit of veggies. And that would be, um, getting close to a fit me plate. Cause you just need a carb. So if you had a fruit and a veggie and the little ham and cheese roll up, like that would be a fit me snack. Well, like that, I guess the ham, I guess the ham, ham and turkey wouldn't necessarily be like a fit me protein but it'd be really close so but yeah I mean those would be really good healthy snacks um also if you aren't like I know that some people don't like to eat um a meal going out of the house but they still want to have like good solid nutrition like a like a protein loaded um smoothie with fruit and spinach and almond milk um that's like a blended up uh fit me plate fit me inspired plate um, so those are my, some of my favorite things. Um, I think like the lunch meat roll-ups are my favorite, like kiddo lunch. If we're, if we're talking about kiddo lunches, uh, along with those like pepperonis and stuff, it ha it's a little bit harder cause they can't heat up their food. So we can't give them anything that's like, you know, it has to be able to like keep in their lunchbox and eat, eat in the cold. Um, sandwiches are also great. You know, they don't, the sandwich, there's nothing wrong with having bread. Um, having that like whole grain bread and 
you know, lunch meat and cheese or tuna and, you know, some lettuce on it or whatever they like, but really letting like them be a part of it. Um, letting them choose, like, I always ask him at like, do you want this vegetable or this vegetable? So he gets to like pick, but it's really a trick because he still has to pick a vegetable. So that's, and you can do that with yourself too. Like if you're like tricking, you want to like trick yourself into having like, okay, I got to eat a vegetable. I can, I have a choice between blah, blah, blah. And this like, okay, I'll pick that, you know, I'll pick Brussels sprouts tonight instead of broccoli or whatever it is. Um, and so just kind of playing those mind games with yourself, like sometimes like we're like we're kids like let me hide this spinach in my smoothie and or like throw it in my eggs and I don't even notice that it's there um so that kind of stuff too uh what else does anybody have any like go-to snacks or like packed lunches that they love or want to talk about or I always used to slice up apples because my kids are, I always used to slice them up for them. So they don't like to really eat whole apples, whatever, but I would put it in a Ziploc with lemon so they don't get brown and mm -hmm. cinnamon. And they always really like that. Ooh, in their lunch. That sounds good. Yeah. My kid, my poor kid, he's so, he's so deprived. He doesn't know that like apples can come without skin. And like, he doesn't know that, that people cut crust off their sandwiches. <laughs> Are you putting a sliced lemon or you're squeezing lemon over the apple? Squeezing over so that okay. it has to contact all the parts so it doesn't get brown. Because it if it's brown, my kids are like, I'm out. <laughs> you know what I've also seen where they take the little chopper and chop the apple and then put it back together and put a rubber band around it. And then that keeps it from I getting brown too. That. I haven't seen that. Also... Um, my kids will eat a banana, like, and I'll pack them, uh, one of those, just like individual almond butters or peanut butters on it. And then they can just mm -hmm. cut it open and like pour it on top. Ooh, and they, that's a good idea that too. That's a really good idea. Um, and then let's talk like on the go, like while we're out, you know, we don't want to hit up fast food. What are we doing instead? If we're like starving to death and the option is fast food or, you know, gonna, gonna like self-implode, um, hit the gas station. And there are so many options that you can find at the gas station now, as far as like fruits and veggies go, unless they're pre like sealed, I don't usually get them unless they're bananas because bananas like are in their own wrapping. And so I feel like I can eat a banana, but I would never eat like an apple from a gas station. Cause I'm like, I can't fish, like sufficiently wash this apple. Um, it just Pickles. skews me out. Pickles, yes. Those the gas stations pickles. carry pickles now and they're yummy. Yeah, they're awesome. Um, I actually assembled a dinner, like a cold plate uh, dinner for myself last week. Um, <laughs> and I and I went through like, it wasn't the gas station, but it was like the deli at Walmart. And I got a bag of pickles. I got the like snapped pickles. They were so yummy. Um, and then I got, uh, some soft cheese and I got some rosemary, uh, is it rosemary and olive oil? Yeah. Rosemary and olive oil triscuits. Cause I felt like, oh my God, I just, I love these so much. Um, and so I had those with my soft cheese and then I had, um, some chicken and, uh, some veggies, some carrots and some celery, uh, and Emmett went through, like he went with me into the deli and he picked out like what he wanted to eat out of like the case. Um, so it was like fun. Like it was, it, we were kind of like put together our own little meal. Um, so the grocery store deli or the gas station, um, they have protein shakes, they have jerky. They, a lot of times they'll have like the sticks of cheese, um, and like fruits and veggies and a little cold section. They're getting way better with like their variety of um, healthy options, kind bars, um, bags of nuts and the pickles. And so that is what, that's what I like to do as far as like, and, and always keeping the fit me plate in mind, even though it's not like, you know, the plate, the plate challenge is like a, the fun challenge of like upping the ante, but just keeping in mind, like 
how can I put together a complete meal so that my body will be satisfied and satiated? And so like, okay, here's my protein shake. I got some protein. Let me see if I can find a veggie. Here's a little thing of carrots with some ranch dip. And, you know, so kind of just keeping that in mind always and, and putting together the pieces, even when they're not perfect, it's going to give us a really good, it's going to, it's going to make our body feel good. Yeah, we have a lot of quick trips around here and the quick trips are just amazing because they have such fresh food that, you know, I can get two hard boiled eggs, I can get my fruits and I can get my veggies. And I mean, we did that when we, <laughs> we went on a trip and it was a three hour drive and it's like, you know, I was like, we're going to stop for breakfast, right? And they're like, no. And I was like, oh, dude, no, I got to stop and get something to eat. You don't want to yeah. see me hangry. <laughs> so that's, that's no what I got, you know, and I'm just like, just stop at a quick trip or a quick star, you know, that's the Midwest for you. But um, yeah, and they're just totally loaded with such fresh food now. And, um, you know, when we forget something at the grocery store, we can go to the gas station and get it, you know, I mean, yeah. Last Christmas, I forgot potatoes and I quick trips open 24 seven. They have potatoes. So that's awesome. Potatoes. Yeah. Wawa's like that. I miss Wawa so much. Julie, where do you live? I live in Wisconsin. Yeah, I can tell. Wisconsin. <laughs> no. I, can tell. <laughs> I don't, I don't have, I don't have the Wisconsin total. You do. Or no, no but you, I have, you I mean, have I was, some. I was born and raised in Illinois and then I lived in Iowa and I've only been in Wisconsin for like the past five years. So you say um, Wisconsin, us, like Wisconsin yeah, people though. Wisconsin. <laughs> like us California people who have zero accent. <laughs> yeah. Right. Here, here <laughs> all the accents. <laughs> our accents yes. just chill. That's our accent. Well, when I grew up, <laughs> yeah. when I grew up in Illinois, I was in the country. So even though you're in Illinois, you still talk like you're a farm girl. <laughs> you know. <laughs> no, one, no one could place my accent. They're like, where are you from? I'm like, I'm from Illinois. And they're like, yeah, you're not from Illinois. And I was like, I'm from the sticks of Illinois. <laughs> that's so funny. So that was just, you know, grew up saying wash. Wash, wash. This is wash, the link. Wash, wash, wash. And I, yeah. it, I physically had to tell myself to say wash but I felt like I was from Boston. So I have to wash my car. So <laughs> <laughs> I am so susceptible to accents. Like I'm originally from Maryland and then I lived in Florida for college and now I live in Arkansas. And so you can tell like Joey gets really annoyed because I'll like, if I'm around somebody who's real country, I start talking like that. And like, it's really comes out heavy or like if I go and visit my family in Maryland and I come back and he's like that's what I remember you sounding like <laughs> and so I really like I lean into other people I like mirror people I pair it like and, and I do it by accident um but it happens all the time like I'll probably come back talking weird like Molly or something when I get back and then uh not that she talks weird but talking differently speaking differently when I come back it'll take like a week to wear off does anybody else do that? Does anybody else pick up on accents and like talk weird? I do yeah, that. <laughs> by like my family's Southern, but like I live in Maryland. I grew up in Maryland. So I have like the non, I don't know. I don't think Maryland really has an accent unless you go towards like Baltimore, then you got the Baltimore, Baltimore yeah. and stuff. But um, so there's not really an accent here. But then like sometimes my Southern comes out because my family's Southern, but also I went to school in like Southwest Virginia and mm -hmm. like BFE. So like, um I can't say why right like I, if I if I think about it I'm what? good but like if it's just like coming out like my why is like really funny <laughs> or yeah. um yeah there's just certain like I'll stress the a in certain areas yeah. and make it sound more southern and then I swap sometimes I get confused and I'll swap back and forth like depending on who I'm talking like if I'm in Maryland I typically say aunt but then like when I get down south it's always like that's my aunt Lori or something like so it just depends on where I'm at and who I'm around, but I, I pick up accents really easily. I think yeah. everybody can always tell, like, I've never been around Australians because I can't do an Australian accent to save my life, but anything else I do pretty good. <laughs> I can't do it on demand. I have to, I do it by accident, um, but that's hilarious. Yeah, I love it. 
I actually really love the Baltimore accent. I do still say Baltimore and I say don't uh Joey makes fun of me for saying don't like I put an L in there um I'm trying to think of funny other funny things that I say but our son his voice is so country it is hilarious and he'll say like he'll say yes <laughs> my head <laughs> it's, just like, it's hysterical <laughs> oh, I love it I love it so much <laughs> Oh, okay, so back to snacks. Leah, what are you making? Are you like making like a fruit salad or something? Fruit salad, yum, yum. Cherry, tomato, cucumber, basil, avocado salad. Oh, yum. Sounds so good. I'm not kidding you. I wish all you ladies were here because I'm not kidding you. That Can I turn my box? Okay, this. Whoa. See how big this box is? Uh -huh. I have like three of those full of cucumbers because I have a big garden. I have a box big full of green beans. I the tomatoes are just starting to come. My husband planted 52 tomato plants. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you should pack a bag full of like vegetables. I wish that I could. <laughs> I wish that I could. So I'm not kidding right now. I am eating really good right now, like because I have have to. I feel guilty throwing it away. Awesome. So that's why I, I say get out to your there. farmer's market. Like cucumbers is another snack that my kids will eat. They like really like cucumbers you know it's weird i i just gave him cucumbers with his um dinner because i bought them for like i made like a greek um dinner this week and it was so good and i'm i'm gonna do it again next week because it was so good um but i cut up like chicken breasts into chunks and then i put it into gallon sized bags with greek dressing and i just let it marinate overnight and then i threw it in a skillet and i cooked um cooked them in the skillet and then i did a greek salad with red onion, cucumber, and um, grape tomatoes and Greek dressing. And then um, roast, I did my roasted potatoes, but I added like dill and a lot of garlic. And um, I think that my, oh, I put a little Greek dressing in the potatoes too. Um, the cucumbers with dressing or just that stuff? See, we Emmett don't- likes, he likes them with salt. He likes them with salt. But he didn't like that. I put him on his plate without salt. Mm -hmm. And he was like, I, I need salt. And I'm like, you don't need salt. Just eat the cucumbers. And he's like having a fit about it. Like, okay, fine. Go put salt on cucumbers. Jeez. So he went and put salt on. But he, yeah, he just eats raw ones. Um, but you could do them with dressing. You could do them with like the ranch dressing or um, seasonings on them. I like They're crispy I like, like chips. What were you saying, you like I was saying, like, I like the Greek style salads where like with like the feta and the, the oil and mm -hmm. stuff. And you just like tomatoes, cucumbers and onions and then like pepper, throw some mm -hmm. pepper in there with like um, olive oil. And mm -hmm. That's like literally it. And it's so good. Yeah. And feta. feta and like cheese. a splash of vinegar. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yum. I love that. Same. That's a really good, easy one to do, too. And then like if it sits overnight and marinates in that like oil and vinegar it, it tastes even better natika one thing i was going to say for your kids lunches i don't know if they like this but i did this for my daughter a lot as i'd make her a caesar salad with chicken um she liked that and you can get those caesar salad kits from costco That's and then just cook chick and then just cook chicken and put like the salad dressing in the in a little on the side they like that and if especially if it's um Especially if you just go easy and get the mix, like at Costco, it's super easy for them. Mm -hmm. I've been buying chopped salads like nobody's business lately. Mm -hmm. like, that's like me a too. pantry staple for me right now. And me it's too. so easy. I even eat the dressing that's in it. I just don't like use a lot of it. Um, but oh my gosh, it's been so much easier. Uh, and I actually had Caesar salad today um, because of that. But it, you know what that made me think of? Um, Leah, my mom used to make me pita pocket sandwiches. And so like you could stuff it with the Greek, with the Caesar salad and then like put some rotisserie chicken or something like that pulled in there. And I know my deli, like, and this will be another like quick meal too. Yes. Pita bread. And so, um, you can, like break it in half and it makes a pocket and you stuff it and then, you know, put it in paper towel and put stick it in a bag or whatever. But, um, my grocery store has been taking like, there's like little tubs of pulled apart rotisserie chickens that they like 
took you know took the rotisserie chicken and they pulled all the chicken off the bone and they stuck it in a little tub um so that would be really easy to just grab and like toss a handful in the salad too has has anybody never seen a pita bread before i've seen one i i expected half expected natika to say she's never seen one before <laughs> My I was going to show you because I happen to have one cut in half. In here. Literally, when they're whole, obviously they're whole, but when you cut them in half, they like open up like this. Mm -hmm. And so it's like a pocket. Yeah, this one's ripped, but yeah, like you cut it in half and then you just stuff it. It's good with tuna too. I like tuna in there. Mm -hmm. Pull out a, another one. Is the other the one? Here's what they look like whole. Like. Here's what it oh, looks, looks like a like flatbread. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a nan kind of, kind of looks like. Oh, I love non bread. Oh my gosh, guys! I would make like, whatever. yeah, the whole sucker full of stuff, or you have to cut it in half in order. You to have get to cut it. In half. You, well, you could, you, you could, could maybe just, just cut it the like top off. You know, <laughs> cut it and open it. Like a bread but bag. they're kind of, they're kind of fragile. Okay, they're a little bit fragile, are. so I think if yeah. you shove the, that, it would probably bust open. Okay. Yeah. But if you like laid lunch meat and stuff in there, probably. But yeah, it would be easier if you broke it in half. You guys just gave me a dinner idea because I have hamburger that I'm cooking just fucking because it needs to be cooked, but it doesn't yeah. go with anything. I'm going to put them in here with the salad. Yes. That's a Thank good you. idea. <laughs> oh, you know Thank what? You. That just reminded me of a really easy and delicious dinner, uh, like meal prep dinner, uh, cheeseburger bowl. So like you cook up your meat with like the seasonings for a cheeseburger and you, you put like roasted potatoes in the bottom and your cheeseburger. And like, I like to put spinach and tomatoes and like red onions and pickles and whatever else you like. And like a little bit of ketchup and mustard. Oh, it's so good. A little bit of cheese. That's what I used to order at restaurants when I was doing keto was like oh, nice. just a burger. And then like for my side, instead of getting fries, I'd always get a salad. So mm -hmm. like, I guess like. If you could, if they had like something else, like, I don't know how you do a car, but that's what I did when I was on keto was like, mm -hmm. I'd order a burger. Actually, Tori, Tori calls it the gen, the gen burger. Cause it's literally just like, I get a burger with no bun. And then like, I always order, I always get mayonnaise and I would use that cause keto, you can do as much fat as you want. So like, mm -hmm. I would order, always get like mayonnaise. Cause I love mayonnaise. It's my favorite condiment. Mm -hmm. And I would like, just take a side salad and like throw my burger on top and then like mayonnaise. And that would be my dinner. Yeah, I also like mayonnaise. Also, talking about cheese reminded me, my brain is like all over the place today. I had an argument the other day with somebody that cheese is a healthy fat. No, cheese is not a healthy fat. Cheese is a fat. It's not a healthy fat. And I was like, hold up. Dairy is okay to eat. Like, it's good for you. Dairy is healthy. And she's like, there are, there are studies out there that tell us that we don't even, we shouldn't even be eating dairy. And I was like, okay. I didn't get into it with her, but like, going back I was like are you eating vegan organic only clean things I know that you're not so don't talk to me about dairy and cheese <laughs> like that is like let's not even go there maybe it's like I, I don't want to offend you by calling cheese a healthy fat but like when you eat a healthy fats portion of cheese there's absolutely nothing wrong with it and it's totally acceptable and as long as your body like doesn't have trouble digesting dairy or it doesn't cause inflammation in your body like you can have cheese and That's so like it is one of my favorite snacks i know Me you can too. get especially like if you do string cheese string cheese actually has a pretty significant amount of protein in it too like yeah so, and usually it's that low fat mozzarella so it doesn't yeah. really have any fat yeah yep so that's usually what i get for string cheese and then i pair it with like for a snack i'll pair it with a fruit like grapes cheese and grapes mm -hmm. yeah so here's a here's a question for you do you do you pull the strings or do you bite it like a neanderthal i definitely eat it like a neanderthal <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. strings only don't give me those square <laughs> string cheeses those are not string cheese it's a cheese stick <laughs> Big difference. oh my gosh there's always like i don't want that very... colby jack <laughs> yeah oh i love colby nope. jack i don't it's like this very <laughs> oh i like the sticks but i do i peel it like a little kid the whole time i love it 
Yes. That's I so usually, funny. Emmett when eats I eat it, like I that. share them with my dogs. So like I'll bite off a piece for me and then I'll bite off a piece and hand it to a dog. And then, like, <laughs> that's our that's our treat that we share together. That's so funny. Well, this was awesome. I was really kind of worried because I was like, I am running out of ideas to talk about guys. And, and then this would be a pretty fun call. Um, so anybody have anything that they want to ask or talk about before we wrap up? And Tika, did you get any ideas? I'm not a big snacker. So I guess I'm not a big snacker and I don't like raw vegetables at all. At all. That's okay. You don't have to eat raw vegetables. You can cook your vegetables. That I like. Do you ever. like bell pepper? Hell no. No. <laughs> and I did a taste test on the gas things in my Marco Polo group because everybody <laughs> weak ones was like, are you effing crazy? These are not sweet. Sweet is cake. This is not no gat. <laughs> Have so, you tried the sweet peppers? Yes. The little just, ones? The oh. whole bag of those little shits. <laughs> Cut that sucker in half, pick those little ass seeds out, <laughs> to then bite that thing, and it was not sweet. I had to put some damn sweet onion Vidalia dressing and some lunch meat in that thing just to get it down my throat. <laughs> you know what's really good is if you put a little bit of cream cheese in those with a little bit of everything bagel seasoning on top, those are good. But you know, I, you don't have to eat them. It's okay. We still love Do you, you like guacamole? <laughs> I do. So I love my, my, like one of my favorite snacks is bell pepper slices with guac. But see, and, like, um, I do homemade guac with like tomatoes and onions and stuff and my own seasoning in it. So mm. yeah, I hear it's a slumber party happening at Jen's house in September. Yeah, <laughs> you guys want to come. I think everybody's coming and staying at my house. Like y'all are welcome to come. I've got the space, kind of. I'm staying with, we're staying with Brooke. Me and Leah are going to stay with Brooke. We might just stay there the whole weekend. If you guys realize Brooke lives like one street down from me, right? Really? That's yes. awesome. We'll have to go like early morning We live morning in the walks, same neighborhood. Walks. That's so cool. We have, I, like, yeah, I'm staying at Jen's. You want me to see if she got room for you? I'm like, I live in... I live in Huntingtown. I I could <laughs> leave my car, but I appreciate it. Who's staying with you, Jen? Everybody. Um, I, so mm-hmm. right now, Kristen is staying, and Ashley and Melanie are staying at my house. Oh, that's awesome. But I was that's like, awesome. I mean, if everybody just wants to come anyway, just so we can all hang out, like, <laughs> I've got like I've got space to put quite a few blow up beds down, so. That's sweet. And then I have two couches in my living room that are comfy to sleep on. So, and one of them's a recliner. So really, if, if people can sleep in a reclined position, uh, you can fit like <laughs> two people on that couch. So <laughs> that's awesome. This is going to be so much fun. I'm excited. All right, my loves, let me see your beautiful smiles. Smiles. There we go. Ready? One, two, three, cheese. Ding. Look, one thing. Love y'all. This oh, is no, what'd you do? Stitches. Frying a new vegetable. I think it was a vegetable. Jicama. I was like, this is why I don't fuck with vegetables. You stabbed yourself when you were cutting your jicama? I'm never cutting jicama again. Got two stitches and the shit was nasty. I was like, raw vegetable bullshit. This is what I'm talking Hickama about. Jicama is supposed to be eaten raw. When you said you were cooking it, I had horrible service. I was like, what are you doing? You don't cook jicama. Raw, and it tastes like I've something. I heard that it makes fries. I was like, what the hell is this? I wouldn't eat a, a potato raw. Yeah, we- I know. It's a, it's a very close to a potato. It, it is. Was- it has to be cold. It has to be cold. If it's not cold, That's so yeah. funny. it's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bad hick. I'm a picker out or two. Mine always tastes like potatoes. I have a friend. I'm always like, these are so good. And then I go buy one. And I'm like, this is crap. <laughs> <laughs> I've never made yeah, it. I feel you. You don't make it. You just <laughs> peel it and cut it. Literally. It's not meant to be cooked. I are you like trying to find away. vegetables you like? Yes. <laughs> Hickam is not on the list. <laughs> oh. I what about golden beets? Leah always makes those look so delicious. I've never tried a golden beet. Just ready don't, to throw. Don't throw up. <laughs> what kind of flavors do you like? 
brownies, chocolate cake. <laughs> Give me the bowl that tastes like that. Um, that's so, gonna be a little difficult. Okay, so like we're gonna have a hypnosis at the weekend where we hypnotize Natika into thinking that raw vegetables taste like brownies. That's okay. awesome. At Costco, they have these chocolate muffins that are made with carrots and zucchini. Shut They're in the freezer. I'm so serious. I'm gonna. Fuck, I gotta show you right now. I'm so but serious. You can make them. Yeah, you could. With your, you oh, know, you know what you else know. exists? Chocolate hummus. It has some sugar in it, but it tastes oh, like brownie batter. Wow. And it's really good on fruit. Oh. Great veggies made great. Double chocolate muffins. I just got them. Show the bag. Yeah, pretty. It's a box. Oh, it's like my. a box. Do you have okay. Costco? We do. We just got one. What's mm. the? Can, can you hold the nutrition? Pretty decent. <laughs> yeah. Well, can I flip this around? Yeah. Yes. You should be yes, able I to. can. Oh, I see. I see. Fuck. <laughs> Sorry, God. I have horrible. Can you see that? Take a screenshot. Go like Not closer. Really. Then- Go closer. Zucchini and carrots are the first two ingredients. Sugar, yeah. eggs, whites, whole eggs, has, cocoa powder. It has eight grams of added, um, added sugar. So it's like, I wouldn't use this as your vegetable, but I'm just saying. It'd be a decent breakfast. Oh, yeah, it's that- not. Hor- it's definitely not horrible. That's Ooh, like a good like try. morning breakfast. Like I would eat that before like working out or something because I can't work out on like a full stomach. But yeah, yeah. maybe carbs. We got flaxseed. I don't know. I, mean, no. I, I yeah, they had them on sam- them. they had them on sample. That's why I got them. They also make like um. They also make like egg, like the like. They have at Starbucks like those round egg things. They make egg, the egg ones, bites. Oh, and they I make love those. yeah, the egg bites, and they also make like blueberry muffin style. Nice, hmm. just a thought. Awesome. I feel like I Might want Tika just to come to my house so I can figure out like if I can make. I have a lot of ways that I make veggies. I'd be curious to see if I can find something like find a way to cook something or with different certain flavors that you would like. I guess could totally hook up. I eat vegetables with every meal. Molly challenged me to increase my variety because every vegetable I cook is a green vegetable. And it's really just broccoli, spinach, Brussels sprouts, and asparagus. That's it. And string okay. beans. Do you like cooked? Do you like cooked bell peppers? Yes. On a steak and chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Pulled, pulled barbecue you, chicken. So those sweet peppers you have, if you mm-hmm. cut those up and put them with they go really well with pork. Huh. Yeah. I'm trying to think of other veggies. Cook them with the pork. They go really well with the pork. Um, I like cabbage a lot, but that's also, I guess, a green vegetable. Do you like corn? I do. There's purple cabbage. Not a vegetable. I do cabbage. I know know corn's not a vegetable, but if you if you like the flavor of corn, Mm -hmm. raw raw red beets. Like a lot of people like to do pickled beets. I don't like pickled beets, but if you do raw red beets, they kind of have a corn flavor to them. They're kind of sweet, yeah. Yeah, they they do. They're like a kind of like a sweeter corn flavor to them. What about cherry? Look at that face. (laughs) These orange ones are really good. The orange ones. I love them. They're. Nature's candy. I didn't say that for no reason. They're good. They're sweet. Yeah, I, candy. I tried to get Emma to try them again the other day. I always like put a little bit on his plate to see if he'll ch- he'll try them, and and then if he didn't like them, okay, fine. He says they taste like dirt. <laughs> Pop in your mouth. Mm-mm. Yeah. Well, I tell him you have to put it all the way in your mouth, and you have to close your lips and but then like, bite down. <laughs> just, ugh. But my kids love cherry tomatoes. They eat them like oh, husband. Them. I'm not. Oh, I'm like, not. Here. I'm not about that great, great tomato life. Yeah, <laughs> it need to be on a burger. <laughs> Those beefsteak tomatoes are good, and it's I really like don't pepper. This what? Why do we people pickle their stuff? What does that even mean? Why are you pickling vegetables? You're putting it in some kind of pickle juice. Why? What is happening? I don't know Make why. Some, either, like crispy. I gotta variety. show you girls something else. I gotta show you girls something else. I just pickled all those green beans, cauliflower, Ooh. relish over here too. I did like a hundred jars. Oh Are my you gosh. Best? 
in a grocery store. What are you doing? <laughs> I have a huge, I have a huge garden. I know. I don't know what to do these things. I'm like, we're all going to eat a hundred jars of pickles. Like, Ooh, are you coming to work. Maryland, Leah? Yeah, I'm thinking about shipping like 50 times. You should. You should just bring them with you. Like, <laughs> I'm like, $500 worth of luggage. Who cares? <laughs> Leah, you pickle. And now yeah. what? Just going to take a she jar. She said, and now what? Are <laughs> by your yeah. fingers? Yeah. Oh, they have to get cooked. Are they already cooked? I know you have to like make the brine with vinegar and spices and all that stuff. And then you have to water bath it. So it seals itself. So you put it in this huge pot of water, drop it in. It's a process. Trust me. I never want to see another pickle again as long as I live. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and that makes them last longer or something. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It preserves them. Like they can last for like five years now. I'm just Susie Homemaker over here. My God, you guys. It, my and good. the vinegar and stuff is really good for you, too. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> so do you bring Susie so do Homemaker. You the that it's in? Do I what? Do you take the, the jar to the head after you're done eating the vegetables out of it? Sometimes I do. So I let, I'm a vinegar Ooh person. Ooh-wee. Mm. <laughs> it's good for you. It is good for you. Good for your muscles. I bet. That breath be stinky. <laughs> all right i love you ladies so much thanks for getting on the call tonight hope everybody has an awesome awesome rest of your week and reach out to your coaches we're here for you bye okay have a good night bye, bye. Good night.